Hello, today we are going to learn how to join given points by drawing tangent arcs between nine tangent points given the first center point, O1. We are going to base this drawing on two important tangent laws. The first law states that the center of every arc which passes through points A and B must always be located on the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. And the second law states, for two circles to be tangential, their center points must be aligned with their tangent point. So the first step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the given points BC. To do this, set in the compass on any radius more than half of BC and centered on B, we are going to scribe an arc to the left, as shown here. And now, with the same radius and setting the compass on point C, we scribe another arc intersecting our previously drawn arc at two points. And now, joining these two points, we obtain the perpendicular bisector. And the next step is to join the given center point O1 to point B and elongate it until it cuts the perpendicular bisector at a new center point, which we will call O2, as can be seen here. And O2 has been obtained by using both tangential laws. Firstly, getting the perpendicular bisector of points BC, and secondly, aligning centers O1 and O2 with tangent point B. And now we are going to continue this process with the remaining points using the previously obtained center points. So the next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of CD. To do this, setting the compass on the radius more than half the length of CD and centered on C, we are going to describe an arc to the left as shown here. And now with the same radius and the compass centered on point D, we scribe another arc below to cut our previously drawn arc at two points. as can be seen here. And now joining these two intersections, we obtain our perpendicular bisector of CD. And now we are going to join the previously obtained center point O2 to point C and elongate it until it cuts the perpendicular bisector of CD at a new center point, which we will call O3. Okay, so now we are going to continue this process again, working out the perpendicular bisector of points DE. So setting a compass on D at a radius slightly longer than DE, we scribe an arc. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on point E, we're going to scribe another arc until it cuts our previously drawn arc at two points, joining the, these two Intersecting points, we get the perpendicular dissector. And now, joining a point from O3 through D, we will obtain O4. Okay, so we're going to continue with this process as this video speeds up to obtain our new centers. O5, O6, we will continue with this process. And we're going to obtain eight new centers in total using the same process every time. So we've obtained O5, as you can see here. Now we're going to try to obtain O6 by working out the perpendicular bisector of the points G, F. And now joining point O5 through point F, we obtain O6. And we continue again working out the perpendicular bisector of GH and joining O6 through G and prolongating it, elongating it until it cuts the perpendicular bisector, getting O7. And finally, we will obtain our final center O8 by working out the perpendicular bisector of HI as can be seen here. So now, once we have obtained all the center points, we are going to draw the arcs. Firstly, 
setting the compass on the given center point O1 and radius O1A, we are going to join points A and B in a thicker line. Okay, we could join on the internal or external side. So we've decided to join A to B on the external side, so we will continue. We set our compass on O2 and we will join B to C in the opposite direction so as to avoid creating any angles. So we'll always go from right to left and then from left to right and vice versa. So as we can see, setting our point on O2 and radius O2B, we draw an arc from B to C in the opposite direction. And now we will continue setting our compass on O3 and with a radius O3C, we will join point C to D in the opposite direction again. As can be seen here in a thicker line. And now setting our compass on O4 and radius O4D, we will continue with a larger arc in the opposite direction. And again, setting the compass on O5 and radius O5E, we will continue our arc in the opposite direction, joining point E to point F. And again, setting our compass on the next point, O6, and radius O6F, we join point F to G in the opposite direction, as can be seen here. And continuation, setting our compass on point 7 and radius O7G, we draw an arc in a thicker line in the opposite direction, joining G to H. And finally, setting our compass on uh, 08 and radius 08H, we join point H to point F in a thicker line. So here you have the completed exercise with all the points joined by tangential arcs. This method could be used to design a Formula 1 racetrack, for example, in real life. Um, so I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. See you next time.